Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will learn about prime implicants and essential prime implicants. Now, let us understand what is implicant. In Boolean logic, an implicant is a covering of one or more main terms. Another definition is implicant is product term in sum of products or simply a mean terms. So let's understand what it's saying. If this is the function given, f is equal to ab plus abc plus bc, then all these will be called implements. And we can mark like this. This is bc. This is ab. A and this is ABC. A function can also be given in terms of min terms. So all the min terms will be also called implicants. So it is not very critical really. Uh, what is important is coming in the next slide. Prime implicant. Now what is prime implicant? is a product term obtained by combining the maximum possible number of adjacent squares in a map. So what does that mean? That if we have a map and these are the values, then we have to combine with the maximum possible numbers. So let's see, can we guess uh, what, are the, what is the maximum possible number that we can combine? Obviously, we don't have any uh, combination for eight terms, but we can see there are a couple of four terms. So like this is, we can combine four terms. These four terms we can combine. These four terms we can combine. And then we can combine these two terms. So these are all prime implicants. So let's see. It is the largest possible group maybe with one element, two element or four elements. So we can't neglect those which are not covered by four elements or two elements. We have to take care of all of them. And here is the groups may overlap. So we have to find maximum possible groups even if they overlap. Now let's see the easiest one first. Four, four and two. But as I mentioned that we have to see all possible, all possibilities. What are the all possibilities here? Let's see. Okay, one caution here. A larger group should not be divided into two parts. So like this, one group cannot be divided into two parts. We can of course combine these two from two different groups. We can combine these four, two from this group, two from this group, that is possible. But from one group, we cannot make two groups. Okay, so let's see the other options, okay. So these two combined here, these four can be combined here, and these two can be combined. So we have total six possibilities. So six prime implicates. And now how to proceed? this first of all uh, it is better that we number all of them so it is one two three four five and six and then we write the values so it's one here is this I am sure you by now you know how to write this is a dash common so a dash and from here d common so d so the first value is a dash d and similarly, you can write all the values. And now we come to another term called essential prime implicants. Now, what is essential prime implicants is that we have to look in these boxes. If a prime implicant has at least one value, which is not covered by any other prime implicant. So let's see here. We're starting from here. This one is only covered by this prime implicant it is not covered by any other 
So this number one, that is A dash D, will be called essential prime implicant. So A dash D is EPI or essential prime implicants. Then you can see this is covered by two, this is covered by two, this is covered by two, 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 covered by two. This is not covered by two, it is only one. Therefore, this box which contains this, that is number five, is also essential prime implicant. First of all, we'll write the essential ones. So these two were the essentials. So we write F is equal to A dash D plus A C. And plus we have to find some other values to cover these two. We have just kept these two, we have removed all of the options that were here, just kept the prime uh, essentials and then see what are left which we have to cover. So the easiest way is to cover this from this, so that is one of the options, we just combine these two, that means A dash D plus A C plus this third term is B C dash D dash, so you can see from here, B is common from here and C dash D dash from top. So this is this is one option. The other option could be that this one, first one is grouped like this and this second one is grouped like this. So here shown, this is one grouping and the other is this. So that is another option. So now in this case we'll be adding A dash B C dash for here and a b d dash from here so this is another possibility uh, to get the uh, function value now let's see uh, the question given in the book solve in the book we'll try to explain this simplify the boolean function by using prime implicance techniques and these are the main terms so first of all, we plot all the main terms and then we find the prime implicates covering maximum numbers. So again, you can see from here that we don't have an option of 8. So we have to find all the options of 4. So let's see. This is one option covering these four corners. The second is that we cover this one also. Third way we cover this one also. Four, you take care of this from this one. Fifth, this one. So all covered, but the options are still more. Uh, no hurry. So just look around. Can you guess which are the options? Which is the option that just one left? Okay, so this is the option that was left. So we have now got all the options. And as we mentioned in the previous one, we got to number them for our ease. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now write their values. So one is b dash d dash, two is so we wrote all the values. I'm sure you'll have no difficulty by now. This one you can see the last zeros are common, that means b dash. And from here you can see again the last zero is common, so d dash. So b dash d dash. Similarly, this one you can see is this is common all the way so it is a b dash so a b dash so you write all the uh, six possibilities and then we go for the essentials now start from here this one is covered by just one prime implicant so this forms essential so we'll write this as essential this is covered by two one this and one this so not essential, this is also covered by 2, this is only covered by 1, so this box is also essential for number 5. So we just write that number 1 is essential, EPI, essential prime implicant, and number 5 is EPI. 
but we'll also keep on checking this is covered by 2 covered by 2 covered by 2 or 3 covered by 2 covered by 2 3 covered by 3 so only these two are epis okay so uh, as we uh, mentioned in the previous one also that we now got to clean the slate we just keep the epis so these uh, two are the epis so we keep them now we have to take care of these three values this 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 which is not covered so what what are our options uh, in this case we have many options so let's see the first option is that these two can be covered by this grouping and this one can be covered by this grouping so how do we write the function values we have to include the essentials these two bd and bd dash so in this plus the two new ones that we have added so this one is cd and this one if you look from here is a and from here it is d so ad so this is uh, the value that we got so this was one of the options what are the other options okay these two covered by this one but this one is covered by the green line so this is second option and we'll write these two values for the green and the brown one so this is the second answer uh, I'm sure you can write now these values okay other option okay this pink covers these two and the magenta covers this one so that is third option and same way we write the values and one more option the pink covers these two and the green covers this one so this is another option so we have four options in this case which uh, we can find the value of f so these are all four options that are possible so i hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve or plot the prime implicates and find the value of the functions using essential prime implicates and prime implicates thank you